All right. We have a job to do now. This is almost uh the end. Just make sure nothing's changed over in these side parts. All right, let's do this. Got to find this uh this fox. Oh, squares are here too. out probably oh more of those squares gotta be careful Nico this place is gonna eat us alive squares again no oh, this house You're here! Nico! Are, are you Rue? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Uh, okay. You sure we can't go to the other areas? It's cubes. This is where we met, uh, tip. Silver point, yeah. Up here. Where, where are the other two? Prototype Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring it back with the memory disc, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I... I don't think he made it. Oh. No. There goes our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Uh, alright. This is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives might be beyond each of the windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. Alright. It was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake? Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You're prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh. The entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the, the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, it, it was simply ingrained into his work. No machines are built with a fundamental law and never let a living being come to harm. From this world machine perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, simulation never contained any real danger. The 
the eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their codes very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. Squares. That's the machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. Disruption was an issue during test runs even. At first my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time we realized the actual root of the problem, our home world's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's resonance are real, myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I I've heard that word so many times. I only, I only know it's complicated and that has to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. And that's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, and they can be and then can be assigned to all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they'll never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their own code, the knowledge that they are a robot. This is more of a limitation than anything else. Uh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But, well, you can't build a robot to not follow its own code. You can't establish a special bond with it. The strength of that bond is the strength of that bond is strong enough. The robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine, living person, even knowing they're not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it's able to return your feelings. Hold on. I made it sound easy, don't I? But you and Dean know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involved some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it t usually restrains itself when you're in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you through there. Oh, uh, we should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Well, where should we go now? Oh, Cedric! You guys are okay? Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I th really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough, and it actually didn't take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my designs to be com compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same. Ready to go Nick now, Nico. All right. Yeah. Alright. This is the end, isn't it? Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted us all to be here for this. What are these things anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically my father has a hidden decryption key in our code with a .txt file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined to a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Ah. Well, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. 
Basically, these portal portals all represent a physical location on D's machine. Ooh. And when we enter these portals, we'll be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Dee's already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. But this time, Dee will need to move around some things as well. Specifically by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Dee know where these portals lead, at least? You should probably ask Dee on this. Right. Hold on. Oh. The journal's glowing again, Dee. Documents slash my game slash one shot. This one is red. This would be meant for me then. This one's green. And this one's configured to my code, I think. This one's blue. That's mine then. Hello. Salutations. Alright, time to do some code searching. Wait. Portal 1. Blue NPC prototype. What? Oh. No, go away. Put me in the big... Stop it. No! Close. Ah! Visual Studio! Technology! Put me in the big portal. Okay, so. Portal 2. Okay, so it just wants us to put them all. nothing in here. Alright, everybody go into the big portal. Oh! Um... They're gone. Well, now what? All in here. Um. Uh. No. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll. Uh, Quit and record my progress. Let's, uh, go back. I wouldn't fuck it up. Well, now what? I wanted... What did you not understand? Wait, hold on, did you just want me to put the text files in the... Maybe it just wanted me to pull the text files. Oh! Uh... 
Okay, that did it. It's a door. That's a lot of screens. Yeah, it just wanted me to put the text files in there. That was quite peculiar. Indeed it was. I'll say. Hey, this is... This looks like... The World Machine. Alright. Big ass. It's a big book on the table. Stack of books. Watercolor sticks. Box filled with folders and loose papers. Excuse me. <clears throat> Box filled with notebooks and sketch clovers. Big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. It's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. Shelf full of books. It's a big photo. Wait, no, it's a painting. It's hard to tell at first. Cedric, Proto, Rue, and, and the, the. I think that's the author? Glasses. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no water in there. Coat rack with a scarf and a big jacket. Shelf full of books. Bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Po photos, too. What's this? This is my father's study. Feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. It's a pilot's helmet. What's the big book say, Nico? Just a big book, alright. Room head doesn't really need lean anywhere, but D should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. Alright. Ah. Alright, here goes. The eleventh hour, the final chapter. Let's finish this. Screens are on this time. Oh. Well, where are we? The screens of certain positions in the world. It's just a sign. This is a lot different than last time. Last time I was just in a big dark void. Nico, run! Nico? Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ugh. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares, they're closing in. Nico, please! Get out of here! Let me meet my end in peace. The, the squares are blocking my way too. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside of my head, so to speak. So this is... 
The center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Proto? They all told bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but... I, I know what you're supposed to be. I, I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They... told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of protocol. The session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Uh, oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I, I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My, my creator, yes. D listened to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. D did something to find a hidden map. I, I didn't even... I did not even recognize it. I can't... I couldn't see anything there. I, I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. A after that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened? I... I remember the structure collapsing. I, I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was just shutting my down myself down for good. I, I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wish of its, own, of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. That Rue told me is your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before you realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up pits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. But why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it all. At all. My, my panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained knowledge of who I am, their, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the code had more people, you know? And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I, I know you're upset, but... Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my, my core programming made you, me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Then I, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but I had no way to be sure. But Deed brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want for, is for you to wake up back in your world, but I, I don't think I can make it happen. But I, I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then the credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was supposed to be a wor workaround. I don't even remember the original code through just enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I'm a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew. My, my very existence conflicts with that law. I, I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they're they're code too. You know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions, all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though. You're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true about the people I know. 
You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah? So if this session was supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how would the pe- how did the people know how to respond? I- You said it yourself, when you didn't know what was happening, you kinda just stopped working for a while. So how do the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they're real, but there's something real in them. There must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? The code is gone! It's all squares now! I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't! I'm not tamed! Yes, you are! You talk just like the tamed robots I know! The robot lady, prototype! Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real per person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do! And I know D does too! Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think D would keep coming back? Why do you think D would restart even after the ending? I think D wants to save both of us, so please, give me a chance. I don't know. I've never done this before, I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code. And, and recreate it. But for that to happen, Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Uh, I don't like this. What if What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Hey. Dude, did you see that? The squares just... It happened again. I, I think something's making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Yes, we're cleansing it. Come on, I can't cleanse that. D, I think it's working. Nico was right. It might actually be tamed after all. I. I remember what the code was supposed to be, only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back there to where it all be all began. And Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wake up back home, this world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Thanks. Thanks, uh, big guy. Please get, say goodbye to Nico for me. Goodbye to you too, buddy. I'm sorry for calling you a little bitch earlier. Messiah? Robot lady! Y you're okay! I think so. Last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me, but then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? 
such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from anyway? This room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, D. That's why you're here, miss. I, I think the world machine is able to recover your code too. World machine, huh. I'm not sure I should tell you this, but... Well, what's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's it's a bit too far to tell. Come on, D, let's go take a closer look. So, um, you, Silver. I don't believe I've ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Off you go now. Programming by Eliza Velasquez and Michael Shirt. Graphics by Nice Margin. Character design, Mike Margin. Amazing George design. Hey, robot! Hello! Hi! I cannot move. Oh, yeah! Uh, I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Oh, I lost the sponge. Maze! Hello, Messiah. Plant Lady? I thought you... I, I thought you... It wasn't even the squares that did it. No, I just wanted to see you both again. I, I wanted to say thank you. Sorry, mechanics concept, Eliza Blackwood. Velasquez. Oh, big guy! Yo! Off you go, Messiah. Wait, I want to talk to Maze one more time. Nico! You're okay too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky! I fell right into a bunch of them! Calmus tried to save me and then... We both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Lula! We're not dead! Wait, are we? Good question. Hey D, are they gonna be okay? Yeah, they're fine, Nico. Everyone's fine. The, the world machine will send them home soon. Oh! Well, well D says you're not dead. Whew. They also said you'll be able to go back home very soon. That's even better than Limbo! Um, I guess you're... I guess you're leaving us now? We're glad we met you, Nico. Sam! Oh! Off you go, Messiah. It's you! Uh, glad to see you in one piece. That's you're okay too, after the whole elevator thing. That was, uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. By awkward, I meant terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares like, started leaking into the room, right? And I, I was trapped like a rat. And then they just kept filling the room faster, right? Uh, am I dead? No, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Can't work when I'm dead. Ice Wolf, Marshy, Schmuckloaf, Armin Reeves, Wisty, Roadcrosser, Ame, A Amy, uh, Paul Kim, Sizorin, and Bloomy. Thanks for testing the game. Sorry if I got any of your nine names wrong. Thank you for playing. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code, going above and beyond its program, not as a result of an error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward, that's what being tamed is all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. This path leads to some of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm-hmm. It's a glass room, right? That's it. You can go through the portal when you're ready. Goodbye, Nico. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time, just by D and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us. We never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. So you like being a robot? Um, why this all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon. I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah, it's... Nice. I suppose it's alright. <laughs> That's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course! Wait, 
Why did you two answer my robot question too? Uh, don't worry about it. Thank, thank you for everything, Nico. D, Nico, we're forever in your debt. I'm glad we could help. All right. This is the end, huh? Here it is. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, D. Don't go blind, Nico. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself by looking directly at it. The square's going away. Profit bot. Robot's back. I didn't even realize what happened there. Here we are, Nico. This is the room I first woke up in. D, are you still here? D? Yeah, I'm still here. D! Uh, I think. Uh, I think it worked. Yeah, it did. Sun's back. And I, I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what what do we do now? I guess we should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? It's looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. The room behind the big clock. And I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. D, this isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But it'll be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still don't know. This place, these people. I don't think they'll stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Dee. So, take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm hmm Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, D. Well. That was an... <laughs> An incredible journey. I mean, I said that last time, didn't I? But... Yeah. This time we've got the best ending. The best and last ending. Goodbye, Nico. I'll miss you.